Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. So we've been talking about virtual machines on uh, M1 Max, right? Basically running virtual machines on top of your M1 MacBook Air or now it's MacBook Pro, very, very powerful. But in terms of running operating systems, seems like we're kind of limited, right? First of all, we can only, most of the time, we can only run only uh, ARM images, only ARM operating systems like Ubuntu for ARM or Windows 11 for ARM. But recently we got interesting addition. First of all, we've got VMware Fusion finally available for your M1 Mac. This is like game changing, guys, because VMware is pretty good in terms of creating good uh, virtual environments, right? So we've got VMware Fusion now. It's a technical preview, but it's free, so you can run it like and it's gonna work just fine. For example, I can run this Debian 11 ARM image. Yes, it works. It works, guys. And I just probably need to install uh, and update some drivers here, but it's gonna work just fine. So as you can see, it's quite fast as well. I just need to install the graphical drivers here, but other than that, it just works totally fine. I can use it right here and I think it's gonna be free for another few months because they need to run this technical preview for a while just to understand like how people are using it and how good it's performance wise and all that so we'll see but we also have one other interesting option which is Mac OS 12 which was recently released Mac OS Monterey but you can now run this one as a parallels virtual machine take a look guys so if you press plus in parallels create virtual environment press continue and then you can just scroll here and you can get this one download Mac OS and it's gonna be running just fine Actually, let me show you that. So let's close this one and let's run this. All right. The only problem I was having with this uh, Mac OS 12 here in virtual machine is that I'm not able to configure the display size for some reason. I don't know, guys. The display size for some reason is not configurable. I was thinking about just making some video where I'm like destroying the Mac OS Monterey, <laughs> basically disabling system protection and then just deleting all the files, but just like just to play around with this. But I mean, this is just like a crazy, crazy idea of mine. As you can see, it runs. Uh, performance wise I cannot say that it's perfect but I mean it's it seems to be okay it seems to be running okay here this is not bad you can basically run for example your uh, some kind of server here and then access it through your client for some reason I don't know maybe you want to have a Mac OS server or something like that it basically identifies itself as a Apple virtual machine one let's actually see the performance here for example I'm gonna open maps and then for example how about open San Francisco let's say my favorite city <laughs> and then let's see let's zoom in uh, let's zoom in here I mean it's not that bad actually it's not that bad how about 3d yeah I mean seems to be working seems to be working I'm not, not sure for some reason the gestures on the trackpad are not working here but you can use it <laughs> I'm not sure about games again the performance wise not sure probably need to run specific benchmarks tests and all that but honestly that's not the point of this video my point guys here is that it's very simple to get your Mac OS Monterey instance running inside the parallels which is cool which is really cool you can see guys I'm basically running those two virtual machines side by side it's running <laughs> at least it's running that's what I can say about this all right guys thank you for watching this very short video I hope it was useful interesting for you so go ahead and sign up for either parallels I guess of VMware Fusion or run UTM if you want because UTM is the only solution that allows you to run x86 images but honestly guys I had quite a bad experience with UTM so far some people are totally fine using it but not me I'm not not a fan of that so we'll see we'll see virtual box is not coming for M1 Max in anytime soon that's how it is all right guys thank you for watching and bye bye